It says, yay, I'm free. Time to crochet. That's cute. <laughs> I like it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks, and I'm going to show you today the hooks that I have gathered in the last mm, couple of weeks. I found a bunch of them at Tuesday morning, didn't know that they had hooks, but I also didn't know until a couple months ago that they have yarn, so that's fun. And then Derek got me a surprise. I've got a new furl streamline. I'm going to look at these things first because I've never seen them before. So again, these are hook nook. Who knew? And just to be, to go with them, this is hook nook yarn. So I think that, I thought that was funny. So I'm going to open these. These are really packaged well. I had to struggle just to get this open. But now I think we're good. Oops. And of course open the wrong end. Okay, let's try that again. Let's open the top. Really got a lot of packaging on here. It's kind of, I guess it's safe. Eek. There. Whew, I got it out. It's huge. I'm going to have to, oh, it doesn't have anything written on it. So I'm going to have to remember forever that this is a six millimeter hook. Or I'm going to have to keep it in its box. I'm not sure which one I want to do. That seems a little crazy. But this one is a six and this one is a six and a half. I guess you're supposed to remember because they're color coded. I don't know. But let's give them a try. I have never used this before. I just barely got the box open. So let's try it. And I'm pull this one aside right now and just see what happens. They were at the Tuesday morning so they're... Um, this one actually says it's a 575, but this says it's a 6. Who knows? I have a measurer. I'll measure them later. Hmm. Hmm, oh, it seems quite rough. Right here. I don't know if I'm a fan. Let's see what we can do here. But I collect hooks. All hook is a good hook. All hooks are good hooks. They just are, some are better than others is what I have to say about that. So we're going to give it a try. It's not polished very nicely. Hmm. Now maybe, I'll try the other one. Maybe it's just a fluke. Maybe I just got one that's Right in here, really rough. Right by the hook where you need it to be not rough. Right in here. Hmm. All right, let's give the other one a try. So that one was the six millimeter and it's light blue. It's huge, but it's really lightweight. Just resin, I guess. Let's see if the pink one has any better put that much attention into polishing their acrylic or their resin as they did the plastic part to put the box in, make the box out of it would have been better well this one is pink and it is a six and a half millimeter let's try the same thing again Oh, it does actually have something written on it right here, the teeny tiniest writing. It does say it's a six and a half. Wow. It's a good thing I have my glasses on. That's crazy. That's really, really tiny. Let's try this one. still seems like it's rough. It's not as rough as the blue one. Hmm. Right in the spot where you don't want it to be rough. That seems crazy. They put a lot of attention into their packaging and not as much into the hook it seems. 
it is very easy to hold. I do like this part. I do like the ergonomics of it. Very nice. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm a fan of this one or not. They seem like they're a... Uh, They're going to snag. It makes me sad. I don't want to snag my yarn, and I don't want to get into the middle of a project and have a whole bunch of fluff all over the place. Hmm. That's why I wanted to start here with these guys. Get the box closed up again. Wow. Hey, hook nook people. Put more attention into polishing your your resin than you do in the boxing, because this is silly. All right, so those two are done. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of these, and I am a big time hook person. I have a monster collection of hooks, and these are part of my collection. But I'm not sure that I'm ever going to use them. I'm not a huge fan. I do like hook nook yarn yo, though. This is awesome yarn. So they have that going for them. But I'm not a fan of these. Let's move on. Let's save this, my, my Taurus, for last. But these ones are fashion knit. These people I've never heard of before. These are a lot easier to get into. They just have the little flap on the back of the really noisy plastic. take both of them out and just be done with that noise the plastic part all right so this one is oh it's really pretty let's see it's fash knit this is a seven inch the six and a half millimeter has it written right on it so that's nice and it's maple and ebony and seven inches long. This is just cute. Isn't it cute? Fash O knit. That's cute. Oh, Fash O knit. Oh, I get it. Okay. Let's just give this a try. I'm going to use some, have a little remnant of my land brand ice cream um, velvet. Let's just see what I can do with that. Alright, well this one is actually working with the velvet nicely, which is a huge bonus. So it is kind of hard to work with the velvet stuff sometimes, but this one is nice. This is working very nicely. Ooh. I like that. I'm going to say that Mr. Fash O Knit Maple up here, the light color is the maple and the dark part is ebony. They're going to, that's a winner. And it's a six and a half millimeter. That will be in my, in my mix. Let's try it with the hook nook stuff. It's not velvet. Really quick. Oh yeah, that's nice. This is, see how this one is sanded nicely. It doesn't have any ridges. Okay, I love this. This is a keeper. Yay! Okay. Fashion knit. Maple and ebony. Love you. So it's this one. Rosewood, and this is a six millimeter hook. And this one is rosewood, and look at, oh, it has it written right on it. Fashion knit. A J or a six millimeter and it's all carved. Oh, this is cute. What a cute hook. Let's see if he is. Oh, it feels nice. This feels like a winner. Feels like it's been sanded and polished properly. Oh, I like this one a lot. This is nice. Well, that's fun. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is a winner too. Mr. Rosewood Fash O Knit 6mm that I happened to find at Tuesday morning. That is a winner. Winner, winner. Okay, two for two. Now here's my new baby. My new baby. Derek surprised me with a furl streamlined swirl and it is a Taurus. Look at that. This is just gorgeous. It's a Taurus. That's my my sign. I'm a Taurus. And isn't it pretty? It's pink and purple swirly. I love I love 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 it. This is a six millimeter because I just happened to mention that said I don't have a six millimeter in a furls. Isn't that weird? And a couple days later it showed up from Amazon. Nice of the Amazon people to bring me that. That was funny. I just happened to mention that I don't have one. I have a lot of fours and four and a halfs and fives and fives and a halfs. But I didn't have a six. Ooh. I love you. I love you, Furl's Taurus hook. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Yay. Oh, this is a winner. Winner, winner. For sure. And a six millimeter. Now I have a fancy six millimeter hook. I'm so excited. Now I have a Furls 6. They sent it to me in a box that was broken, but I taped it back together again. I keep them in their boxes, so it made me kind of sad. But anyway, here we go. We have these three are winners. Fashion Knit. Got Fashion Knit Rosewood. It's really pretty. And the Fasho Knit uh, Maple and Ebony. This is gorgeous. Those are both beautiful. They were sanded very nicely. Worked very smoothly. So if you can find these along the way, they're great. And they were at Tuesday morning, so they were pretty good prices. And here is my baby. This is my Furls Streamline Taurus, which is my, my sign. I'm a Taurus. So those three are winners. I'm so excited by that. These hook nooks, not a huge fan. So, you know, you, you, you can't, all hooks can't be perfect. And I do think that all hooks have their place, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to use these. And you can tell me in the comments below, maybe you have hook nook acrylic hooks that you love. Maybe I just got two that were just, they were just kind of crazy. But to me, they're uh they're not polished properly can't be used they're gonna snag my yarn and I hate that but these three are great so thanks for stopping by thank you for supporting my small business and please subscribe to my channel turn on notifications I've got some really great stuff coming up and you don't want to miss it so I'll see you soon thanks bye